Hi right, everybody, today we are going to talk about right angle triangle. We will have right angle triangle and the objective is to find the sides or the angles of this right angle triangle. Here we are going to talk about sine, cosine and tangent. We need 90 degree triangle. This side we call it hypotenuse. This side we don't know what it is and this one also. What determines this side is the angle. So if I take this angle, this side, it will be the neighbor to this angle. We call it adjacent to A, to the angle A. And this side is opposite to A. If I take this angle, I call it a B. This side, it will be adjacent to B, adjacent to B, uh, and this one will be opposite to B. So this is how we determine adjacent or opposite. You look first to the angle and see which side is touching the angle. If it's touching the angle, it will be adjacent to that angle. If it's in the front, we call it opposite. In right angle triangle, we have hypotenuse, we have adjacent and opposite. The adjacent and opposite names depends on the angle. If I take this angle, this is will be the adjacent. If I take this angle, this side will be the adjacent. But the opposite for this one is the adjacent to this angle. Uh, we are going to use sine, cosine, and tangent. The sine of the angle that, that is in the right angle triangle, remember, we have to have 90 degree triangle. So the sine of the angle, it will be the opposite side of that angle over hypotenuse. The cosine of the angle, any angle from that area, it can be A or a B. It will be the, the adjacent over hypotenuse. So the tangent of the angle, it will be the opposite over adjacent. Okay, let's do an example. Let's say you have this angle is 30 degrees. We know we have right angle triangle, this is 90 degrees. Um, we give this side is 5. The question is to find, this is the question, find the adjacent, adjacent to 30 degrees. And also B, find the opposite Was it to 30 degrees? And for uh, let's see, let's say this I call it alpha. Find the angle alpha. So, how we do that? Uh, if I have one angle and one side, I'll be able to find the other two sides and the remaining angle. This is hypotenuse. To find the adjacent, we said last time the adjacent to 30 degrees, we use cosine. I have the angle and I have the hypotenuse. All I need to use is the cosine. The cosine of this angle is the adjacent over hypotenuse. So, this, uh, if I cancel the hypotenuse and multiply each side by hypotenuse, I will get the adjacent. So, the, your, the adjacent will be just hypotenuse, which is 5, cosine of 30 degrees. In this case, how much is it? 4.33. So I know this side is 4.33. To find the, the front side, this side, I have the front angle and I have the hypotenuse. I use just the sine of the front angle which is in this case is 30 degrees, means sine of 30 degrees, it will be just the opposite 
to 30 degrees over hypotenuse. So the opposite I'm looking for. So I just cancel the hypotenuse by multiplying each side by the hypotenuse. That means if I multiply hypotenuse times sine of 30 degrees, it will be 2.5. So how we know what we did is correct, you go use Pythagorean theorem to see if the square of 5 it will be the sum of the squares of the opposite and the adjacent. So if we go do 4.33 squared plus 2.5 squared, it should be 25. Or if you square root this, it will be just 5. So if we do the math, we should find 5 it will be the square root of uh, the opposite, the square root of the square of the opposite plus the square of the adjacent. This is how we do it. Now, to find alpha, we have many different ways to find alpha. We can use a sine, cosine, or tangent, or just use these uh, angles because we know in, a, in the triangle we have 180 degrees. I have here 90 and I have here 30 is 120 to get to 180 all I need is 60 degrees so this is how we found the angle you can use the sine cosine or tangent to find the angle should be 60 degrees now let's uh, do one more example let's say if I have two sides let's say this is three and this is four the question Let's put it here. So, uh, one found the hypotenuse. Second, uh, found this angle, let's say I call it A. Three, I call this angle B. Found the angle B. Let's put it like that. Okay. So, um, the hypotenuse, we have right angle triangle. We can use Pythagorean theorem. So, what will be? The, the hypotenuse, let, uh, the, uh, let's uh, give names. Let this side call it A. The front side of B, I call it also B side. And the hypotenuse, I call it just C. So, uh, the, the, we have right angle triangle, 90 degree uh, right angle triangle. Uh, C, the front side, the hypotenuse squared, it will be the, a, the opposite squared plus adjacent squared. So C, it will be just square root of A squared plus B squared. It will be the square root of A3 squared plus 4 squared. It will be uh, the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared. It will be just square root of 25 in this case, it will be just 5. C will be 5. Now, we got C, which is uh, 5. Uh, we need, uh, which is the hypotenuse. We said the hypotenuse is uh, 5. Now, let's put it here. We found this answer. We said the hypotenuse, we call it C, is 5. Now, we need to find the angle A. To find the angle A, What we do? We have the two sides. We have the front side of A, we call it opposite, and we have the adjacent to A. In this case, we use just the tangent of A, which is the opposite to A or adjacent to A. Remember, it's the opposite to the side A, opposite to A. opposite to the angle A and this adjacent to the angle A. Adjacent means the neighbor, the opposite is the front side of the angle A. Now what do we have here? We have tangent of A to be just 3 over 4. Now I need the A, not the tangent of A, 
Then I have to apply the arc tangent. We'll write it like that. Arc tangent of tangent of A by definition is A. Now, if you want to get rid of tangent to get to your A, you apply the arc tangent to tangent. So if I apply the arc tangent to tangent A, I have to apply it here too. So this what does mean? The arc tangent of tangent of A, it will be, we said here is just A, and this it has to be the arc tangent of 3 over 4. So the uh, A, it will be 36 or 86 degrees. So this is what will be A. Now, our angle A is 36 or 86 degrees. Uh, to find the angle B, we have the choice. We use 180 degrees or we can use a sine, cosine, tangent to find the angle B. So if I do, if I use the right angle triangle, we have the... the the sum of the angles in triangle is 180 degrees. And now uh, A is 36.80 plus 90. Angle B, it will be just 53.13 degrees. Now, how I verify this? Very simple. I just go and uh, use the sign, the sign of this angle, see if exactly... 4 over 5. So it means is the, uh, the sign of this angle will be the opposite over hypotenuse if, if it's correct. If not, I will go back see where the mistake is. So let verify this. Let me clean this now. Now the sign of 53.13 degrees, let's see if it equals to the opposite which is 4 over hypotenuse, we said 5. 